What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Jabra Hunter X here, bringing us another episode of Project Ozone 3 Mythic Mode. With that being said, let's get into today's episode as we have some latex to process. Alrighty, guys. So, in today's episode, I want to get our latex processing unit up and going as you can see all of our latex is just currently sitting in this drum and we need plastic right so to get started today we are going to be making the one and only latex processing unit which is going to be very 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 pog and yeah so let's get started i guess right so uh, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I know that uh, as of recording this video, I'm having not the so greatest day. Um, I had gotten I forgot, a little bit of a tummy ache from dinner last night, which is uh, a little unfortunate, but that's okay, right? Right. Oh, we need steel. Um, but yeah, I, I got a little bit of a tummy ache from the chicken that I ate last night, but that's okay, right? So let's see. Let's grab you. Make more of you, please. And yeah, also I'm not having the best day either because uh, I ordered a keyboard from Keychron about, um, I don't know, 2000 years ago. And I'm still waiting to get my uh, my keyboard Keychron. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I ordered it last week or something and it was supposed to come on Monday, but it's now been stuck in custom. I think customs are stuck somewhere on hold for like two freaking days now. And I'm actually quite sad about that because uh, I was really looking forward to uh, a new keyboard upgrade. Um, I, uh, I, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, maybe I might make I might make a video on it. Actually, I, you know, I still I know I did make a setup tour video. I, I think it was for my 500 subscriber uh, thing. By the way, if you're not subscribed yet, you should subscribe because, you know, why not? I don't I don't I don't see why not but uh oh that's uh that is very expensive that is very expensive holy cow okay I wasn't expecting that to be that expensive um that's okay though uh yeah if you're not already subscribed I don't know what the heck you're doing you should uh you should totally hit that subscribe button I mean it's it's free guys come on you can cancel at any time but today like I said, we're gonna be getting the, you know what, I'm just gonna do this. It's just way better to do it that way and way easier. Oh, of course I didn't have enough. Get me like nine more or something like that. That should be fine. I have been watching way too many Linus tech tip videos and it's actually kind of funny. I, I feel like the more I watch his like YouTube channel, and obviously I don't have any sponsors, so I can't say, and you know, the segue to our sponsor, I can't say that, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like to be a YouTuber, you need to watch a lot of YouTube, if that makes sense. But here's the thing, though. I find that um, I don't really watch content that is like, I don't, I really, I really watch gaming-esque content, if that makes sense. And I really, 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 really should. Uh, to kind of, you know, see how I can improve my videos and stuff like that. But, um, copper. Oh, you needle nut. I don't have any copper, do I? Oh, did we run out of copper? Did we run out of copper? I think we did. Oh, boy. That is, um, let's see. That's Iran. Uh, that's Ardite. Uh, do we have any copper in here? Cooper, as they would say. Nope. What about over here? Uh, let's go check over here. Do we have any copper over here? Oh. Okay, we got a little bit, but not a lot. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, shenane. We'll be right back. All right, so we only have 48 copper to work with today. Oh boy, great. You know what? That that shows you that we really do need to get this uh this up and going. So we need at least eight constantan. So that, that I think that's gonna be like, like what two sets? No, that's gonna be four sets. Okay, so four sets of each copper and nickel. Okay, yeah, I'm super excited to get my keyboard though. Like 
for if i'm being honest uh i've honestly used <laughs> do, I, do i really want to expose myself right now i mean i have a uh cyber power pc ke uh keyboard that i got with my very first pc that i bought uh when i was 18 years old so i still have that which is what i'm using right now because my uh, 30 dollar mechanical keyboard decided to poop itself right now in the, was it was it 30 hold on let me get the actual price so yeah it was 59 or 59 50 dollars 99 cents for a mouse and uh keyboard combo and i bought that i believe two years ago let's see yeah 2020 2020 which i mean yeah i mean for 50 dollars mechanical gaming keyboard Mm, I didn't expect it to last like six months, but it lasted me two years. And uh, yeah, I, so I finally bought a new one. I, I, I bought a Keychron. Now I didn't cheap out on this. I didn't cheap out on it this time. I ended up paying like 200 and something dollars, which is, you know, if you know, you know, it's um quite expensive I, I think the black widow goes for like what 110 i think i mean the black widow uh some of the razor keyboards are are, are really uh are, are, are really are really good so i mean and those go for like 110 120 so i think or 150 maybe yeah i don't know something like that which is uh you know you know compared to what i just paid which i mean it, it, it's no cheaper right i'm not saying that but it, it's still i don't know I'm, I'm really excited for it though um i heard that you, you the first thing that you should do is mod this keyboard when you get it but i i don't trust myself enough to know what the hell i'm doing to open this keyboard and not break it and I mean, the, the, you know, the, the best part about that, though, is the fact that I paid for it with my own money. So if I did break it, I, I wouldn't feel as bad. Yeah, I'd be upset, but I wouldn't feel as bad as, as if, like, let's say, if, like, you know, someone bought it for me for a gift or something. And I tried to mod it and I broke it because, uh, you know, that's not expensive. And, and, and may I have a bone to pick with these people? Uh, I mean, to be fair, it is coming from China which is, um, you know, you know, anything that comes from China, shipping is very expensive. Uh, yeah, $30. Yeah, $30 for uh, shipping, which is, I mean, very expensive um, in my books for, um, you know, for shipping. I'm usually, you know, I was like, usually you'll pay like maybe like five, ten dollars because of the waiter or whatever, of the keyboard or whatever. But thirty dollars is wow, very. And you know, I, I've come to accept that because, to be fair, like, like I said, it, it, keyboards can be a little bit heavy, um, especially if they're a little bit on if they're made out of metal. But also, to be fair, it very expensive to get things get to get things through customs right it is very it's probably very expensive for the company to get things get things through customs especially if you know it's coming from china or whatever so usually you would probably you know say like okay well you know uh you know we'll, we'll make we'll, we'll we'll charge the customer a, a percentage of the customs fee or whatever which would think is that that's how that works. I, I think that's that's how that would work. I think is they they probably make you pay a percentage of the custom processing on top of shipping processing. If I had if I had some sort of a guess, that's how if that's how that 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 works. Um, I I I wouldn't assume they make you pay for the full um customs price because that would be pure insanity <laughs> but who knows i mean thirty dollars i'm sure it costs more than that to get things through customs so and and it, this is what i don't understand is why 
is it being held at every facility is my question and why i'm so confused every facility that it has gone to it's been held which i i really don't understand to be honest um as if it's being checked like every single time which doesn't make sense to me um and that's probably why it's so late in in, in shipping is because it's being held at every stop which is a, a very much annoying in the sense but yeah there we go boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we got the latex processing unit uh so what we're gonna do is i'm going to get my fluid ducts oh there we go mm -hmm. and we're gonna plug this bad boy right in just like that and you're gonna get uh oh i put the thing away but yeah i'm super excited to get that keyboard like you have no idea and mainly i bought the keyboard because one i had influence from giant waffle but two the sound that i hear his keyboard make i'm pretty sure he has a keychron it's just mm, it's so good and it's not like my old keyboard like the clickety clackities but it, it's still very um it's almost like a not like a full click but it's like a kind of like a muted click which is pretty nice and, and you can get it even more muted like i said if you like actually like you know take the the board out of the casing and you know put the put some like special like foam and stuff in there you can uh very easily uh mod it and and make it a little bit more muted uh but like i said i'm not gonna do that because i i don't know how to do that and i i'd rather just not fuck with 200 a 200 dollar keyboard you know what i mean just to be on the safe side i really don't want to mess with a 200 dollar keyboard so i'm just going to uh you know hope also I i'm very whole I, I i just realized this i might need to spend another 30 dollars so this is gonna go from like a 200 dollar keyboard to like a 230 dollar keyboard uh if i need to buy a, a a special cable mod or whatever which could be um yeah very interesting uh because i believe my pc only has it's either thunderbolt or it's uh USB-C, I'm not sure, but I'm hoping it's not a USB-C keyboard in terms of like, you know, the thing that plugs into the back of your PC or whatever. Cause uh, yeah, that's not gonna be a good time for me. <laughs> not a good time for me at all. I'm just gonna say that right now. It will uh, it will be the, uh, the, uh, the greatest of times. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> this is getting moved. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's right. Our, our our clay processing is getting moved because I am too. I don't. I'm I'm getting into the streamer mode. I feel like. I man. I feel like I'm going into streamer mode with this, and then like we can do something like I don't know. Something like that, maybe. And then we're gonna have to do some like weird voodoo magic or something to get that to work. By the way, uh, you know, one of the perks of, uh, hold on, before we even get into the perks of subscribing, let me, uh, you know, I, I feel like I have to keep addressing this because I keep, I keep missing uploads and it sucks because I want to upload daily, but it's just hard, man, with the nine to five and, you know, all that stuff being in the way and, you know, I'm trying and, I, and I, I'm going to talk to my, I'm going to have my mom talk to my boss on Friday about just putting me on the weekends. So that way I can, you know, actually focus on making content and being a, a full-time creator again. I, I really do miss you guys. I really do miss making videos for you guys. I really, it's kind of been bugging me for the past couple of days now or the past couple of weeks now like and, and seeing that we're we're still growing even though and you know i'm not posting as much really warms my heart a little bit 
and it has me excited for the future and you know for some of the ideas that i have i actually um uh, you know what fuck it i'm just gonna put it out there right now i wanted to do a um factorio um creative mode uh series where the goal of the the series isn't necessarily to like like launch a rocket and beat the game or whatever the goal of the series is more like building all sorts of kind of like factories right if that makes any sense like building building up factories and in different um setups and stuff like that i don't know i find that very interesting to me um and the reason why i feel like that would be an interesting series because like it kind of shows i don't know like the 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 the, the, the cog wheels kind of uh, rolling in the head you know what i mean like the cog wheels you know like the brain it's factorio let's be honest any logistical game even modern minecraft does kind of require a lot of uh thinking and coming up with creative systems in which to uh you know build your your stuff in so and then we're just gonna do something like that pop that there and boom we have tiny dry rubber fully automated fully, not fully automated, not yet at least um and i have a couple of ideas on how we can fully kind of uh automate this which is pretty neat need a burrito uh, we're gonna need a few things uh do we have what i need uh we have item conduits that's a check uh do we have uh we're gonna need a few things we're gonna need an analog crafter so this is done uh analog crafter there we go that's just gonna need a bit of wood some chests and some things uh yeah i was really thinking about doing that series because let's be honest i've really been obsessing over factory over the past couple of days now or literally just like the past day like yesterday i think i played for i i started at like six six in the morning or like eight in the no i started at eight in the morning and didn't stop playing until almost like five and i was just obsessed with just like building like different contraptions and factories so like i don't know that, that you know that was actually the first day and and that's why this, today's video is late is like that was the first day where i actually took a day to myself and and actually uh you know played video games not for youtube or anything like that which was um it was definitely strange not gonna lie but it was um yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I built some cool things with my time, which was awesome. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, do your... Nope. All right, good. And then you're going to want to upgrade. Yeah, we're also going to want to upgrade to the diamond. Uh, diamond furnace. Yeah, that could be neat up burrito. And there's going to be a, uh, a few other things that we're going to want as well with that as well. All right, so you're gonna do your thing uh part of me also wants to maybe hold on let's do this right now uh do we have any things over here but yeah i mean i guess the perks of subscribing are you know sooner or later we're gonna have daily videos uh you know and also like i'm planning and you know working out uh you know one-off videos right you know which is super freaking fun i that that to me is like i want to do it because i want to experience oh i just smacked my microphone ggs um i want to experience what it's like to make a one-off video that isn't like a let's play and don't get me wrong the let's plays this will forever be a let's play channel i just need to establish that i feel like I, I think i should have established this like five years ago i've always wanted this channel to be just like let's plays and, and casual you know what i mean i didn't like want it to be like all crazy you know i can probably even like maybe upgrade to ender pearl 
But I feel like that's gonna be a little crazy. Maybe. Uh, Ender. Fern. Wait, is it not? Is that what it's not called? Oh, Endist is what it's called. It requires eight Ender Pearls. And I feel like that's as far as we're gonna be able to get to today with this, which is fine. That is more than an, enough to. Uh, okay, we have two Nebulous Hearts here. That's only six though. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate though. Um, there's another one in here. We should make an Enderman farm, which we can do with uh, many other mods. Wait, do we have another Nebula? Oh, we have five Nebulous hearts in this one. What the heck? That's a lot of Nebulous hearts. That's like, like what? Well, now there's four, so there's 12 Ender Pearls in there. Oh, that's that's a, that's a that's a fair amount of ender pearls. All right, there we go. Endless furnace. Good, good, good. We gotta do something about this storage. At some point, we gotta do it. You know, that's also the thing. Like, <laughs> uh, I um, I love to do the giant waffle thing, which is ah, save it for future hunter. Future hunter will deal with it. You know. Yeah, that's a very bad and toxic mindset, I feel, to get into, if I'm being quite honest. That is a very bad and toxic mindset to get into, where you say you'll leave the future problems to, fu or the, the, pro the current problems for future you. I feel like that's, um yeah, that should be a no-no. But, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, you know, me being me, you know. Uh, I'm just gonna throw everything in here for now. There it is again. Um, yeah, it's a very bad, uh, bad and toxic mindset to be into. To you know. Uh, let me see. Do we have buckets hanging around? We. I just need four buckets, just fairly quickly to uh to, to craft. I know that we have one in the uh thing over there. And up there, we're good. Uh, we're gonna want a separate lava system. Ooh, you know what? I didn't think about this, but the lava is ah, you know, no, 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 no. We got this. Iron pipes. Iron pipes can do the job. Iron pipes should be fine. I think. Yeah. Iron pipes should be okay for the job. For this, so that that should be okay. Uh, because as you know, uh, thermal basic thermal pipes if you don't have the hardened if you don't have the hardened fluid pipes um pumping hot liquid through a normal fluid duct is very bad actually it will um break the fluid duct so yeah you, you always want to be wary of that kind of stuff so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna suck these out of here i'm gonna put them into a um you know, I've actually never done this. I've actually kind of done it, I think, kind of straightforward, I think. I don't think I've ever done this in any of my Ozone playthroughs where I will, um, which I'm gonna call it. I will put the, which I'm gonna call it, in the, um, the tiny, the tiny driver pieces into the, an item barrel of some kind. These are what I was looking for. Man, we gotta hand, we gotta handle this at some point. Like this is getting a little out of hand. The storage is getting a little bad. I think next episode, I think I'm gonna work maybe towards getting the shelving unit. Cause this could be, um, uh, that's not the shelving unit. Uh, shell uh, shelving the shelving unit it's a it's a pretty good um early ish game storage it, it's better than what we're doing right now for sure but <clears throat> you know ideally you know getting rf tool scanner would probably be a, be a little bit better but i think like we're a little bit too far off from that and also that 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 machine is a little uh, expensive for us right now so i think you know maybe getting the shelving unit might be nice 
a nice little touch up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell you on green to extract always active, insert on green, brown, you're gonna extract always active. And that's gonna go into the next uh, thing. So you, 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 make sure you're locked. Good. You're gonna be doing all of your pro your processing. Nice and goody. And then here you're gonna go ahead and wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh you I'm gonna borrow four of you uh eight of you. Uh we want sticky on all of them. Oh wait, it's um sorry, it's not um it's not that, it's nine. Right. Tiny tiny dry rubber is nine. That's fine. And then you're gonna do your thing with the brown insert. Okay, this is where this gets very important. So you're gonna be on the ground. I didn't grab the furnace. I forgot the furnace. All right, so furnace is gonna go here. Cause you're gonna insert on the top of the furnace because that's how furnaces work in minecraft you're gonna get your this upgrade you're gonna not do anything please you're gonna do that you're gonna extract from here insert into here please and then i need to make sure i set up a heat sand with a heat sand, heat sand, heat sand, please. Uh, heat. Uh, do we have... I'm actually not sure if we actually have a spare crucible. Uh, crucibles are just, I believe, a little bit of bone meal. And clay. Uh, do we even have any clay just hanging around? I would ideally like to get this fully automated today. If we can. Okay, now we have extra porcelain. Perfect. Just what I want to see. Extra porcelain. Always, you know, sometimes when you, when you craft a little extra, I feel like it's okay. Right? To, to craft a little bit of extra for this perfect scenario where we're, we we just need like a little bit but we don't need a whole lot of it all right and then you're, you're gonna do that iron pipes we have two iron pipes that might not be enough uh that in that case uh we might want to grab a little bit of zinc i believe is the crafting recipe for these boys uh do we even have any a little bit perfect awesome would you look at me i came actually prepared a little bit somewhat i came i think i came decently prepared for today's episode i feel it wasn't like crazy or anything now we don't need to go excessive on this i feel like yeah we don't have to go that excessive i don't think but i mean looks would be Oh, that's not gonna be ideal. How we we not do that? I don't like you. Don't do that. Don't don't no. Okay, it's fine. Okay, that's gonna get their lava. The good question is, oh god, do I? Mm. You know, I want to say. I don't know if we have a ender pearl uh, upgrade. Item smelting. Um, you know, this is yeah. You know what? We'll do, we'll move this for now, and then what we'll do is we'll um we'll move it back once we get an ender chest and set that all up and everything which i might 
even do that in between episodes but just for right now i think this should be fine oh no go one more deeper one more deeper and then you're gonna place the cobblestone barrel right you have cobblestone you should and then you're gonna extract and insert into here and then you're gonna do the thing right right you're gonna do the thing why you no do thing oh is it because you have water in the pipe already is that why is that why you're being a nuisance uh, okay that's why you're being a nuisance okay fair enough I think what we're gonna do is just like that or something because that's kind of annoying but that's fine uh we can even well actually no now that we did that we should be able to do that and i think this is actually perfect where i can actually put this like here and drop this down this shouldn't connect perfect perfect all right awesome we have fully automated plastic now isn't that just wonderful anyways guys unfortunately it is time to wrap up today's episode and if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor leave a like on this on this video hit the subscribe button as we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers also if you can do me a huge huge favor i'd greatly appreciate your feedback on this video and also in general on any of my content i'd really like to improve so with that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure to follow me on all my social medias help us grow the hunters tribe as always guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time bye bye bye